again, everybody. Um, today we're going to talk about the same thing we'll be talking about um, controllers or modules, electronic modules, known to form a network. But to show you before something, the book that I used, I used two books for going to school for, for automotive. This is one of those books. Interested in the name of it, these are the author, and this is the book. This is over 20 years old, just like the other one. That's when I went to school for this. Nevertheless, look at what it describes. Here's the driver. He doesn't have to look at the dashboard for information. <clears throat> a speed, or a tachometer, or uh, uh, when he's making a turn. Look at this. It appears on his windshield through this thing called a, a HUD image. So he doesn't have to look down here. He looks here so that he can continue driving safely. His vision is directional over here. Now, mind you, this is over 20 years ago, this book. So what he looks at is something like this, 35 miles per hour, if you can see this. He sees this. He's, his, uh, uh, his peripheral vision, his vision is directed through the windshield, not here. Okay. Everything by optics, but everything by electronics, and everything by modules. Well, now, one time I was expressing and talking about the computer network and the, and the bus line. So, how did I get this knowledge, like I always ask? Obviously, it's from the textbook, this textbook and the other textbook, before we went out in the field, and we went and we learned electronics. The teachers at the time were not really that deep into electronics. Being that it was my first occupation to be an electronic technician, I caught on pretty well, and I obviously understood the, the, the technicality of the electronic, the boards and the modules. Now, I told you in another video, or I explained to you in another video, there's two lines for each module, let's say. They call it a controller, fine. This being a, contr a controller or module, modules have to communicate to each other, like I explained before. They have to receive data and they have to send data of what's going on, the present conditions, the sensors, the temperature, how much air, how much fuel, oxygen sensors. A PCM module, a PCM module, or, or, or in this, in this, over here they have something called a, a body controller, which is like a body control module, or a PCM over here called the engine controller, which is like a PCM or ECM, doesn't matter, a transmission controller. Here you have something going to data telling the dashboard, the it's called the instrument cluster, which is where all the gauges are, giving the driver the information about temperature, about speed, all these things are in parallel. You see, these two are connected to these two over here and here. This is connected to these two, electronic. So therefore, they can all communicate to each other in the same language. He speaks English, he speaks English, he speaks English. But like I said before, the language, the universal language in this multiplexing, in this network, they call it, of digital information is digital. Ones and zeros. Why? Because when I showed you the module, if you go to the to the channel, a Joel Trotsky Master Auto, when you see those ICs called the chips that we call them, they only understand information of ones and zeros, digital information. So five volts or zero volts. That's all they understand. They do not understand analog. One volt, two volt, three volts, four, no. Either five volts, zero volts, somewhere in between, like two volts, depends on the chip, if we'll see it as a high or a low. But um, that's not the main point. Main point over here is we need a network system that everybody can speak to each other without excessive wiring. We don't want too much wiring. We already have enough wiring. Like I said to you be, again before, we're going to go into fiber optics in the future, and we're going to go into a 24-volt battery. So pros and cons of that. Obviously, you can have more accessories, which is in demand today because that's what the drivers want. That's what the customer is seeking, and that's how we pull in the customer. More accessories, more features, obviously. 
you can't keep building the same car over and over again. You will not sell too many cars. You cannot sell, uh, I'm sorry, you cannot build the same cell phone. You cannot have iPhone 7 or 8 or Apple, whatever it is. You can't have the same one. You keep on have to upgrading. Why? Because you'll never sell more of that product. You have to keep upgrading, therefore pull in the customer. You pull in the customer, right? That's what you get. Uh, that's when you make uh, your, 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 your money, and that's when you make the profit for the company. So these things rely on always upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. Now, everything is in parallel. So as you can see, all information on two lines are shared between them. Some... Let's say in this case, let's say so, some can only receive data, some can only send data. So they can receive data from, um, uh, let's say, the sensors, and the engine controller will go to him to find out what's going on with the sensors. He will not send it. Electronic instrument cluster, they will receive the information. Uh, the gauges in your dashboard, they will not give information. It'll give information to who? To the driver. But not. it doesn't have to give information back to the PCM. He will receive the old information, the speed of the car, RPM, the uh, engine temp uh, coolant temperature, uh, 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 the uh, oil pressure. All it was received, he is a receiver. But the other one could be a sender or a transmitter. And that's what I explained before. This is the typical setup of a multiplex of a system, as you see over here. Not changed over 20 years. Not changed, except the protocol, the, sometimes it's can. Sometimes, obviously, it's being in advances. It changes over time. But still, two bus lines talking in parallel, all in parallel, talking to each other. Now, here's the trick of it. Let's say one go when you have bulbs in parallel, as I taught you before, I taught you if one bulb, let's say these are six bulbs, if one bulb burns out, the other ones are not affected. If he burns out and he's a bulb, he burns out, that's his loss. All other five can continue being illuminated. Do you think that's the same concept over here? Let's say if the electronic instrument cluster goes out, how many times have you started your car you're driving, but you know what? Your gauges went out. Or the light went out in your instrument cluster, instrument panel. It went out. You can still continue driving as long as you have information of what's going on from the sensors. The computer will give commands, obviously for the fuel injectors and spark and ignition timing. You can continue driving. It's an inconvenience that he's out. To you, because you don't know your speed, you don't know your RPM, you don't know the engine temperature, but still, these can continue. But let's let's go a little further. It depends on the priority. Yes, if I don't have the gauges, I can continue. But if I don't have the radio module working, yes, I can continue driving. But let's say you have the, you lose the ECM, you lose the the ECM or the PCM, that gives the ground. For the starter motor, that gives the ground for the relay, for the fuel pump. Guess what? You lose it. Now you lost it. Even though it's in parallel, it goes by a, priori a priority check. Let's say this data bus line is busy, 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 busy. Everybody's talking to each other. Everybody is sending emails to each other. Okay? I'll try to break it down as simplified as I can because I know we receive comments that many of the, the um, not many, a few, I guess, uh, uh, of the viewers that I have are beginners being into this, introduced into this um, industry of automotive. So let me try to break it down. Everybody's sending email at the same time. Okay? Now, who has priority? There has to be a some set, set protocol where one device has priority over the other one. So let's say they're talking to each other, emailing everything. Uh, uh, all of a sudden, boom, engine control module goes bad. Then there's a code on the bus line telling the microprocessor, hey, you know what? One of the, one of the boards just went whack. He's going to say, which one is it? 
is an instrument cluster, it's a PCM board. PCM board, that's bad. Why? Because you lose the grounds to your relays, which turn on the car. That's bad. Or your ignition control module. That's bad. So he has priority. He'll stop whatever is, go is, being, is being going on, all the emails. He'll stop the emails. And he'll listen to his email more. He is, that's called priority. A priority, uh, a, a priority uh, control. Multiplex system. So this is the basics of it. Trying to make it as simple as I can, but it's not simple. It's very technical. I hope you understand that, how information is being transferred. Okay, between the modules, it's digital information. They can share it at the same time, but once something goes bad, you have to know the priority. Like we said, engine control module, body control module, radio module, let's say, or the air conditioning module. Guess what? The It, it, it stopped. Okay, it's not such a great priority. You can still go without the radio, obviously. The BCM module, it has to speak to the PCM module. So, for in like express vans, those, those big vans, body control module has to speak to the alarm system. The alarm system then speaks to him. Then he gives a signal to him and says, you know what? You know what? I need you to turn on the re the relay for the starter motor relay. He's, he's speaking to him. Then he has to tell him, okay, I'll give you the ground for that relay. Then you turn on the car. I, that's the video one that I made on the channel, Joe on Trans Commands for Auto, when you see it. Like I said, it is very complex. A very complex uh, subject. But yet, this book, like I said, when I went to school, I once I saw it hands on, which I'll get I'll try to get a PCM board for you to show it, uh, and you'll understand it much better. Is is all digital information. So anyway, please go to my channel like I just subscribed. Um, thanks for watching, everyone.